Hey guys, welcome to another periodic functions lesson and today we're going to talk about how to define sine and cosine using the unit circle. So last lesson we constructed this unit circle and as you would have realized there's a right angle triangle in this unit circle located here. And this is our right angle here and this is our um, theta here. So according to the trigonometry uh, standard procedures if we're going to label the sides of this circle since theta is here and right angle is here this would be our hypotenuse this will be our opposite and this will be our adjacent sides of the right angle triangle. Now according to the three standard trigonometry equations or ratios we have sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Now today we're just going to focus on sine theta and cosine theta and if you have a look at sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse now what is the value of hypotenuse in this circle well if you have a look since this is a unit circle the hypotenuse is equal to 1 right because the radius of the circle is from the center to the circumference so this line here is equal to one unit one unit right because it's a unit circle so since the hypotenuse is equal to one we can say sine theta is sine theta is opposite divided by one so it's just the opposite now this might look like a zero but it actually means opposite actually means opposite so we can say sine theta equals the opposite All right just for the unit circle now let's have a look at cosine theta cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse now since the hypotenuse is equal to 1 so we can say cos theta is the adjacent so the new equation is cos theta equals adjacent and since we are um, since we have tan theta here we might as well just uh, touch on it briefly since sine theta is equal to the opposite so this here is sine theta and adjacent is cos theta the new definition for tangent is tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta Alright, so this is our new definition of sine, cos, and tan inside the unit circle. So this is for inside the unit circle. For triangle, right angle triangle. inside the unit circle okay so how can we then use this well if you have a look at this triangle here if we if we focus on this single point here right what is the x coordinate of this point the x-coordinate of this point 
has the same value as the length of the adjacent side. So however long the adjacent is, that is also the same thing as the x coordinate of this point. And let's have a look at the y coordinate of this point. Whatever the y coordinate is. We'll have the same number. The y coordinate of this point is the same number as the opposite side of this triangle. Right, so the length of the opposite side will give us the y coordinate of this point. So therefore, we can say for this point, the x coordinate and the y coordinate can be found using cos theta because cos theta is the adjacent side and sine theta is the opposite side which is the same as a y coordinate so we can say that the x coordinate is the adjacent side and the y coordinate is the opposite side and similarly we can say that the x coordinate is cos theta and the y coordinate is sine theta so therefore we can sum up this tutorial in a sentence which is for a point the blue one oops For a point x comma y on the circumference of the unit circle the x coordinate is equal to the x coordinate of this point is equal to the adjacent side which is equal to cos theta actually I'll just make a point here uh, on the diagram um, adjacent side is equal to cos theta and the opposite side is equal to sine theta So x equals cos theta and y is equal to sine theta. x is equal to cos theta and y is equal to sine theta. So how does this definition help us with trigonometry? Well, if you go back to our uh, unit circle in GeoGebra, if I drag this point around and uh, this is the point on my um, unit circle point B if I drag this point around you can see that theta the angle at the center of the circle is changing now without having to type into the calculator if I wanted to know what sine theta is, what sine 31.19 is so let's say the question is what is sine 31.19 degrees now without having to type that into the calculator I can just use GeoGebra, have a look at the y coordinate of this point point B and it tells me the Y coordinate is 0 0.52 so sine 31.19 is 0 0.52 and if you want to verify that on your calculator put your calculator on degrees sine 31.19 put it in your calculator it is indeed 0 0.52 and uh, what if I wanted to know for example what is cosine of 
74.2 so I drag this dot to 74.2 so cosine 74.2 degrees and I put that in my calculator cosine 74.2 degrees make sure it says degrees 0 0.27 that's 0 0.27 and have a look at GeoGebra the X coordinate of point B is 0 0.27 so that's why it is useful for us to have a unit circle basically we can tell um, the sine theta and cos theta uh, of a certain angle just by looking at the coordinates of the points on the circumference of the circle okay thanks for watching guys see you next time